This is your Chica Sonia in the city of Chicago where I teach you how to buy, sell, and invest in houses for your Chicago lifestyle. And if you're looking to relocate to the city or maybe you're moving from the burbs to the city or moving to Chicago, this is your channel where I talk about Chicago neighborhoods and Chicago real estate. I've lived here all my life. So I know a little bit about Chicago. Contact me directly. Here is my text number. Don't forget, subscribe. And in today's topic, we're talking about the pros and the cons of living in Brighton Park. But before I get into the pros and the cons of Brighton Park or living in the Brighton Park, Chicago neighborhood, let me tell you where it's located at. It is close to downtown. It's about 30 minutes. Uh, if you're taking the expressway, if you're taking the streets, it's going to be maybe like 40 minutes with traffic. Approximately a population of 42,000, which to give you some perspective, Chicago is a huge city and it has 3 million in population. So it's a little, little fraction of, uh, of the population of overall Chicago. And it is one of the 77 communities because here in Chicago, we go by community areas and it is one of the 77 uh, areas in Chicago. We're going to talk about the cons because let's talk about the good, bad, and the ugly and let's talk about the ugly first. So three cons of living in Brighton Park in Chicago. It can get super, super cold. Right now it's actually 24 degrees. No, I don't have my jacket on, but I do have my big fluffy coat right here. Uh, but it does get super cold. And the reason that's relevant to the Brighton Park Chicago neighborhood is because parking can suck big time especially if there's a snowstorm forget about it um, here in Chicago we have something called dibs and dibs is uh, basically where somebody uh, and well people obviously that live on the block reserve their parking granted their parking is a public property it's not it's not their own private you know property but they'll put in whatever it takes to be uh, saving that parking space whether it be like I don't know a garbage can or anything so it can get tough here in uh, in this neighborhood regarding parking. So just FYI, yeah, it sucks as far as parking is concerned. Uh, the second con that I would say is, aside from the weather and aside from the parking, is that there is no party life here. So Brighton Park, Chicago is a very family oriented neighborhood um so you're not gonna encounter a lot of you know a lot of young people let's say that love to party uh this is probably not the city for you, the neighborhood for you if you really are into the party life or like uh walking to different nightclubs and things like that definitely not gonna be like that miami vibe or like the chicago downtown vibe where you see clubs all over the place or like um pubs and things like that no so that would be also um another con okay con number three i would say is and i'm probably gonna say this about a lot of the neighborhoods because they're always clients are always asking me about the crime in chicago because in the news there's always something happening and yes overall in chicago there is crime there is no doubt about it i mean just there is i'm sure there's crime everywhere but if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty regarding each neighborhood all you have to do is go to the website that you can go to and you can put any address in chicago or zip code and it will give you the crime statistics and this is uh in correlation to what the chicago police puts in the system so you know what's happening around the chicago area whether it's north or south side you can go to gis dot you can go to gis dot chicagopolice.org put in the zip code put in the address and it will give you all the crime in that particular neighborhood so again there's crime everywhere in chicago so overall those i would say are the biggest cons actually there's more pros than cons in living uh in the brighton park neighborhood so now we are moving on to the three pros so the three pros here we go the first pro is the commute so brighton park is is really close to downtown which every not i would say everyone but mostly everyone that lives in the city would love to be close to downtown because that's where all the attractions are that's where all the tourists go that's where the bean is at the the navy pier the ferris wheel etc so from downtown like i said earlier it's going to be 
a good 30 minutes on the expressway and I-55 going north. Um, and if you're taking the streets, again, it's going to be about a 40 minute commute to downtown. Also regarding commute, it is full of transportation, like, um, like public transportation. So you can jump on a bus, you can jump on the L, we call it here the L, uh, which is just a regular train. This train is the orange line, there's a Kegsy stop and you can literally get to downtown also in about 30 minutes on the train without having to deal with the traffic here in Chicago. So, and also you have the DBs, or DBs, DBs? <laughs> the DBs, which is like a, a bike that you can get at the uh, train station if you want to bike it to downtown. You can certainly do so as well. In the summertime, it is beautiful. You get to see the, the scenic route of Chicago. Pro number two, that it, Brighton Park is super walkable to like laundromats. Uh, your retail shops like a Ross, a Marshalls, a gym, uh, all your grocery stores, a Jewel, a Pete's. So all of that is at walkable distance in terms of like if you don't have a car, you're literally take, you know, 15, 20 minute walk and you'll be able to get to the grocery store, get your groceries and come back. So that is definitely pro number two. It is very, very, very walkable. Oh, and there, there's also a lot of parks. Um, in the Brighton Park uh, neighborhood too, so, and schools. So obviously if you have uh, children, then you can walk your kids to school. Um, most, of the, most of the schools are pretty close, so it is also walkable distance. And then pro number three, and don't forget if you're liking this video, like and subscribe. <laughs> pro number three, of course I have to talk about housing, right? So it is still affordable compared to like the north side of Chicago. So here in Chicago, we are always about, you're a north sider, you're a south sider, etc. Kind of like the whole Cubs versus Sox, you know, you know, the baseball teams, etc. So the housing is still affordable. For a three bedroom, one bath, you can find something between 250 and 275 in this area. Also, if you're looking for rental, for a two bedroom, you're looking at a thousand to eleven hundred dollars. If you're going to more towards the north side, which we we'll talk about those neighborhoods in other videos, it gets a little bit more pricey. So definitely, it is still affordable in the Brighton Park neighborhood. That is just a little bit about the Brighton Park Chicago neighborhood, located on the south side. If you have any other neighborhoods that you wanted to explore, let me know which one. Shoot me a comment down below but i will be exploring pretty much all of the neighborhoods south side and north side of chicago then once again here is my text if you need to text me regarding real estate this is your chica sonia and don't forget hit that subscribe bell.